Foo Fighter here again with another tutorial to help you guys out with your mods. This time I'm focusing on the icons for um, your Steam mod, or your Half Life 2 mod rather. Um, I'm not talking about, for example, you go to the games list in Steam, this little thing here, this little icon beside your mod, and how to get that up and running. Also, um, uh, an actual icon for the game so when you uh, right click uh, create desktop for shortcut it will add it to the desktop and work okay first things first um, the software I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop Alpha Converter a link will be in the video for this fa uh, program um, IcoFX which is uh, a brilliant um, icon creation tool you just google it and you find it um, GCFscape one of I think Wonder Boys uh, tools very good for opening up um, GCFs and NCFs and Steam. Okay, so uh, open up Steam and uh, launch Source SDK in your Tools tab. Um, here it is here. Uh, my Steam. Okay, so go to Create a Mod. Okay, if you've got all this done, that's alright. You can just skip ahead in the film uh, this tutorial. Um, I haven't tried multiplayer, but it should work. Just gonna go see my mod. And just call it my mod. Okay, firstly, let's see what that did. Okay, in my computer, I just want to review, started the mod, let's see my mod, or whatever your mod's name is, with all the relevant um, uh, solution files for Visual Studio. Um, go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, uh, Source Mods. <coughs> and here you'll see my mod, which is whatever your mod's name is. What I want you to open up in here is gameinfo.txt. This is important. I'm gonna use my mod, my actual mod, Supernatural, as a template here. Okay, there we go. Right. So okay, so we've got all this stuff here. Game, my mod, type, single player. Same over here. Um, you can add this stuff here. Developer and um, developer URL to yours also. Right, just tidy this up a wee bit. Okay, so developer, let's just say um, Noob Industries. And um, just make this uh, Google. Just see if it works. Grand. Nope, oh, felt that wrong. There we go. Google. Get that out of there. Um, now what we would rather this will do in Steam, just to show you, is when you go to the game tool, you've got Supernatural, which is my mod, just use this for example. Um this will put the developer name here and when you click on it it will go to whatever the URL is. Um for our game in our case it'll be Google. So it'll open up your your, your default browser and go to Google. Okay, dokie. Um now what's important to us is um game the icon. You can check out that other stuff there as well if you want, it's pretty basic. And it speaks for itself. Okay, the icon is going to be resource this is the folder it's gonna be in. Just so you know. Go to source mods folder again, my mod, resource. First of all, before we do that, I want you to send this to your desktop. Brand. So just in case. Um in resource, make a new folder and call it game icon steam and um, in here we'll just call this icon my mod so in here we'll have to put a little tgf file which will be this icon here for steam Grand. so um, I can save this now and minimize it and close my other one and this is what we do, open up Photoshop or GIMP if you have it whichever is your default thingy thingy, and by thingy I mean a <laughs> image editing program ok so we're looking at you it'll have to be a 16 by 16 pixel Um, doesn't have to be transparent but just so you know it can be done I'll make it transparent Um, there's a canvas ok so I'm just going to draw a little eye here, and another eye here, and a nose here, and a smile. 
And I just, uh, I just put an overlay on it, make it red or something. Yeah. You don't want to put too much detail in this because this is a 16 by 16 image. Um. No. Oh, there it is. Put it over there. Grant. So it's red now. So it'll stick out a little bit better in the Steam background. Okay. If I see what I was now. I'm going to save it as a PNG because this is how I do it. If you know how to um, preserve the TGA's uh, alpha channel, that's Grant. You do that. I'll show you how I do it. I save it as a PNG. And I'm going to save it to. Um, hard disk one. Run files. Steam. Steam app. Source mods. My mod. Resource. Game Steam. Uh, icon. And we saved it as. What did we save it as in here? Uh, icon my mod. There we go. So we call this icon my mod. Save that in there. Grand. And minimize Photoshop. And I'll open up this little program here. And back here in our game icon steam folder our target for uh, format is TGA don't have to have that checked um, click and drag and it'll convert it to TGA in the same folder with the alpha channel preserved so you can delete your input which is the PNG <coughs> that will now turn up in steam as your icon and now on to the actual game icon so that when you right click in steam and create desktop shortcut it will make a proper game icon really kind of like the half-life 2 or the counter-strike one you see on people's um uh, desktops okay so we can close our photoshop and other unnecessary windows and open up ico fx mm, now this program is very very good i'm just gonna make a new one here true color full job really and um okay I'm just gonna make a circle here and a circle there and a, a circle here and another circle there. And I'm gonna fill them up with different colours. So we got red here and oh dear, red there. Give them a yellow nose and let's just say a green mouth. Now I'm not gonna put it in the background because there's no real need. So I can save this now. Hit this Windows button, if we're gonna Mac for whatever reason uh, you shouldn't be because that's gay and um, just save it as a windows icon um, and that's it all the different sizes and shapes for icons and uh, file save as now we want this saved is uh, go to our desktop and as we saw we've got our my mod shortcut and it's on the resource we save it as game.ico save and close this all now oh and resource we will find game oh I saved that as ICE sorry I meant to be a no <laughs> yeah that's grand sorry don't forget that that's an ICO so now I'm going to demonstrate what I did I'm going to close steam and start up again all right steam's up and running again so it is and on the games list you will see my mod the icon we made it wasn't a great icon but look it works right there and um, noob industries once you click on that it'll open up your default browser and it'll go to google there oh, yeah, i'm not connected to that um now to show that this works i'm going to launch the game to show that the other icon works the, the game icon now i will not mention this when you create a desktop shortcut you won't be able to see it like that even if you refresh it i don't know why I think you have to restart the computer or, or something to be able to re-log on or something. I'm pretty sure it's a restart to be able to see the icon. But you will be able to see it. I'll show this to you. Um, let's delete it. Start the game up. Um, i show you how this works. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. And, uh, I'm not using fraps. I'm still using the screen capture tool. Um, what you want to do is hit Alt-Tab on the keyboard and look down at your toolbar you'll see my mod even if you hit alt tab you'll be able to see it the actual icon itself is there so it worked and that's just uh, a few basic things about the whole thing just so you know um, that's more or less it guys if you need anything just send me a message on uh, youtube and i'll try to sort you guys out um, thanks for listening uh, food fighter out from Ireland cheers goodbye